You gotta do what you gotta do. I got the goods. They've just restocked summer stuff. I don't wanna. Really make sense. What's going on? Some really good things. It's gonna be my summer go to. Trying to find you here. here. We love you. Oh yeah, yeah. I got offered a job here. So she's gonna give us a history lesson today. Um, I will not. <laughs> Three euros. I love the big belt on them. Running buildings, and then we have gorgeous Humana here. What I've thrifted so far. Hey, good morning. He's getting so big already, but we're leaving soon to go join the other two, and we're so excited to go home and see other puppies and get back to work at home. I think I'm gonna do a whole depop and talk on like my experience here and everything. Look at his belly. Look at big belly. He's the best. He's so cute. He's so well trained. So far for a little puppy, he does get into things. He likes to to pick things off up off the ground like outside. He's like, okay, this is enough of this. But he's literally just a sleepy boy. He just likes to hang out and sleep all day. He's very much so Louis. Remind me of Louis. And makes me miss Louis so much, and I cannot wait to get home to Louis and Griffey. But Griffey's just like a little bit of a nuisance sometimes. Not saying I don't love him, but he's just reminding me of Louis. So it's making me miss Louis. I am going to spend a day in Latvia with one, with a friend. We met a friend. Hello. Go Mel. The January winter blues were hitting. I wasn't really wanting to do anything. I, didn't, I haven't really wanted to leave the house much. I really even haven't been thrifting very much. I haven't been vlogging. I just want to stay inside. So it's officially February almost. By the time you see this video, it will be February. I'm leaving mid-February to go home. So I'm only here for a couple more weeks. I met a friend. I'm super excited. We did already hang out, so I'm not gonna kidnap. Don't worry. My biggest concern is just like meeting up with random people is not always like the safest and smartest thing to do, especially in a foreign country. Doing a bunch of wholesale and that's been keeping me super busy. So I guess I have technically been thrifting, but I haven't been like filming or anything. I just haven't been in the mood. And like that's what January does to you. After Christmas, as a content creator, I'm always just like, bleh, bleh. I don't wanna do anything. So I'm starting to get back into a little bit. I have like no Depop left to post. So that's kind of stressing me out too because I like to have some things constantly going up on there. This is the best sunscreen and I don't know if we have it in North America, but I always pick it up when I'm in Europe. I just got another one because I just ran out of the one that I purchased last year in Lithuania. Like it lasted me so long. A little bit goes a long way. So using a new retinol. CeraVe, okay. I don't know if you guys remember last year my skin when I was using Tret was so bad and I have been like so afraid of using retinols for so long but now that my skin has healed from acne, I started to, I, I want to like get rid of some texture so I'm thinking very gentle retinols. So I've been trying this for the last few weeks and like it hasn't broken me up but I know that it's the results are not gonna be there for like a little bit longer. I also have a hydro facial this week too that I booked here. So I'm excited about that. I also got this MAC foundation, which is new because my skin tone is just so pale right now. And I had all my makeup from Florida. So I ended up getting a bunch of MAC products. I need something for lighter skin right now. This is also something that I've picked up. I'm not too keen on it right now. I tried it. I think it dried out my skin a little bit too much. It's a glycolic acid toner. Obviously, I'm not doing it on the same nights that I'm doing retinol. But I've been trying it out a little bit. I used it one night and I just woke up like very dry. So that's my, like my skin needs hydration, especially in the winter time. So I'm not too keen on it yet. I might give it another one or two shots and see if I really, really like it. At least it was cheap. It was like, it's like a six or $8 product, which is not terrible, but that's why I like the Ordinary and Inky List because at least they're a little bit cheaper. And it's funny how you're just like never happy with your skin. Like last year, this time I would have killed to have my skin looking like this, like with no blemishes. And now like I don't have any acne, but I'm like, okay, what is the next process in fixing what's going on? I'm gonna get changed. 
but uh, I'm going to take Jax for a little walk first, so I will be back. And then we'll put on a little outfit. I'm gonna wear this shirt, it's literally so good. I'm obsessed, okay, need to go. Pair it with this bag that I found yesterday. I'm obsessed, I found both of these yesterday. It's the the monument of freedom, or the freedom monument. I'm now thinking like, what's the correct one? We all the lips of an angel, got the eyes of a beast, got the hands of a helper. Don't be weak to my knees. Oh yes, thank you. If you would ask me, let go. Oh my God, it's literally like the exact same coat I have on, but just in different colors. Fun, chunky belt. I know, I know. Cause you can still find such, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. We're like, I like this one. That's so cute. I like this with the star. I'm obviously just a star oh, girl right now. You are a star girl. <laughs> Do you want one? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Ooh. I'm kind of digging the yellow for like the spring. Also, this long trench. I literally have the exact same thing on right now. Honestly, I like picking these jackets up when they're like one or two euros. I do love the coats right now. This one is definitely the best for the coats. So cute, I saw that and it's so cute. I like this. This one is awesome. I'm loving these. Like fuzzy little shirts lately. Such a fun like transitional into spring piece. I feel like I'm back in like 2016 when I had my star obsession because we're back. We're back. I think I'm manifesting them into my life. And anything like this is always so cute. Oh, it has a mess. I like that it's on both sides, like this lace up detail, but I don't, I'm not like fond of the neckline. This could be such a cute, like basic to add to the wardrobe. Like this is something that like just would go with everything. A good stripe, you guys know. They do have such cute vests always here, I feel. I feel like this could be cute. I do like this, but I just... I can't justify it for like... This is also cute. I feel like this is cute. I just can't buy any more sweaters. Like, I, like you're turning into a Latin. Back in my checkerboard era. I feel like this could be interesting. Like I like the high neck on this. It's so trendy right now. <laughs> the bows. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so fun. They're like Buffalo London. I love them. And then I found so many more things. Like this dress, this Ed Hardy zip. I do really like this cow neck top too with the beadedness. The beadedness, the bead. This I actually think is a sh shirt. Maybe a skirt. 
maybe a skirt yeah definitely a skirt but i don't know caught my eye this one too so cute and then this long one maxi and then these like leather pants oh my god okay hold on these leather pants are so cool and then this corset top and then this one too which i absolutely love and i think it's gonna fit my little boobies so i think i'm gonna get her for sure uh -huh. like i like the the lace up yeah. detail but i don't know about the the heel the heel is throwing me off a little yeah. but they are calvin klein they're pretty cool mm. i like the but that's hose. like 35 to 37 that's not gonna that's fit that's so small yeah they're cute though i know i really like these pants but Ooh. But they have like somebody ripped a freaking oh. hole in them. I know. I love the neckline and the fit of this, but I just don't love the pattern. I don't know how to explain it. The Ed Hardy zip. Not the same. I think I'll still get it though. I'm literally obsessed. These are like Buffalo London too. Like, are you kidding me? And they're gonna be like 10 euros, I think. But I love them, especially with these jeans that I wear every freaking day. Blazers also good. But do I need it? Can I find it at home? And do I wanna pack it and bring it home? See, like, we're leaving soon, so I'm like, have to need these tougher decisions I'm not 100% keen on this I'm not sure if it's supposed to be worn like that or like okay maybe this looks better definitely better when I first put it on it was like tied it's, see how it's like tied weird at the back I don't know if it's supposed to sit like that but it is cute like I like the flowiness you could eat a meal in this sure <laughs> Okay, wait. I do like this better when it's like this and then the back. Okay, we fixed the back. This looks better. As I'm leaving, I just saw this. It's so cute, but I'm too lazy to, to buy it, so we'll leave it behind. Sad. Let's <laughs> see. Okay, I kept getting um, comments. Maybe we should pack first. Okay, I kept getting these like comments on my videos about the history of latvia how i have not said anything about the history of latvia so this is lota hi Lot oh, you did, that. did i say Lot yeah. Lot Lota? Yeah. Lota. i mean it's a it's a hard name to say it's fine so she's gonna give us a history lesson today um i will not <laughs> I'm not uh, the history guru. You can't even get mad at me for not knowing the history when I have a friend here now and she barely knows the Latvian history when I ask her. She's like, let me Google what the the Freedom Monument here is. Um, anyway. <laughs> okay, so what did you want me to tell? Like, so, the, the streets. streets. Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, every street I feel like has like a... Um, like a significant person sometimes even like that they're referencing yeah. yeah like a historical like a, either a writer or a politician or like anything so for example Alexander Chucks which is like a Alexander Chaka eel which you just said like Alexander, Alexander Kaka, Kaka which means uh, poop in Latvian <laughs> um, <laughs> um, was a writer and then there's also like Christian Valdemariel Christian Baronia like there's a bunch of these streets so okay. that's kind of fun okay yeah good history lesson <laughs> now let's go eat good morning everybody it is the next day i actually have a facial so i think i want to go to the gym first and then go get a facial but i'm waiting on my boyfriend to get back we have one key for the house it's like the worst thing ever i do not do well with being controlled or like trapped in a space like when i want to go out and do things so this is like the last three months has been very triggering in the sense of like i have to always wait for him to get back because there's three doors there's a gate key like fob thing there's a door key and then we have like another door key to get into our apartment shout out to the security like it's great like nobody's getting in here but 
I, I can't like we have one set of the the fobs or whatever so when he goes to practice I'm kind of like stuck inside and I have to have the key obviously because I have to take the dog out when we go for a walk and stuff so they're set today though wow okay this is a rare occurrence in Latvia Today I'm going to go get a facial, maybe go to the Humana. I know the sale is starting this week, so I'm so excited. I'll probably thrift some things for my Depop. I would also like to start to take some Depop photos. I haven't done that in two and a half months for my Depop because I want to start to list some things that I picked up from here and get that stuff kind of ready to go for you guys. So I think I might do that as well today or at least tomorrow. I also have a nail appointment tomorrow which I forgot that I had booked. So I have lots going on. My boyfriend also has a game tomorrow night. Oh my God, I have some other updates. I also am going home soon. So I will be leaving in a few weeks, which I am low-key so excited about because I just, there's so many things that you just miss at home. Like I miss my Nespresso maker. We have been having, you know, uh, instant coffee for the last three months in the mornings and I am just so over it. So there's some things that I'm so excited about. I miss my car. I miss so, my dogs. And I'm so excited to bring him home to meet the other puppies. So I'm so excited about that. He's honestly so good, but I'm nervous about the flight because we'll see. It's a long, it's a long trip. It's like 15 hours. So I know he's going to get antsy and stuff. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. The other thing is I got offered a job. I got offered a job here from like a big company. I was talking to the to Lota, the girl that was here. I told her the company. She's like, that's like a unicorn company. Like that's one of the like companies that like made it out of Latvia and like kind of like made it like big. And I was like, oh my God. So I kind of contemplated that for a little bit because it's like a corporate job here, which would have been so interesting and like a, a cool transition because it was like me being on video for them and like speaking about their products and stuff basically. But it just... <gasps> What? He doesn't like the camera? He's like, who's mom talking to? <gasps> what? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Emra? No? No? Oh no, we don't like the camera. He's like, who is she talking to right now? So that was pretty interesting. Okay, we don't bark in this house. No, we don't. So that was like a uh, cool, like I, they had emailed me and they were like, hey, like we want to set up a meeting with you. And I thought it was going to be like a brand thing for like maybe like a sponsored video or something because I'm doing so many things here with different brands and stuff and like getting sent a lot of things, which is like so fun, like being here. Like there's been so many positives about living here, but there's just like a lot of, things that you just miss and you need so i got on the call with them and they were like hey like we want to offer you a job like we want you to come in and like meet and like they're like how did you even end up in lavia like blah, blah blah i'm like sorry i'm only here for like three months but i'll definitely like keep it in the back of my mind if i ever like if we come back here next year my boyfriend's playing here like maybe i'll end up staying a whole year and working because like that sounds cool like that sounds fun but it just isn't realistic like then i would be here alone because my boyfriend will be home in two months and it just doesn't sound realistic but like i got offered a job in latvia like what is going on so that is kind of the situation but yeah so that was pretty cool and like flattering and stuff because maybe eventually i would transition to that but like it's not the right time for it it's not the right time for it right now like I'm doing so good with my wholesale. I got a bunch of orders out yesterday, which was really good. Oh, and then I'm also, I also finally bit the bullet and I hired somebody to create the website for my wholesale because so many of you guys will message me on Instagram. And I know a lot of times I'm A, maybe I'm missing out on messages. B, sometimes people don't want to chat. Like they just want to like have a website to go to and buy something. So I've kind of set that up. And I'm so happy and it should be done by like end of February to get it started. I will have a section for wholesale and then I will also have a section for some things to purchase in Canadian dollars, I think. So separate to my Depop and for people who don't have Depop, don't want to purchase from Depop, this makes it will make everything so much easier. He's literally, did I scratch myself or did he? So that is also so exciting. We did like a whole mood board. We had a little 
meeting like so yeah there's lots going on which i'm so excited about i've really kind of been the laziest i've ever been in january so it's february time to get shit done we're ready he's confused who i'm talking to he's like what is going on here what is mom talking to who is mom talking to I just found a vintage store. I love this. Sports Connection. The yellow. Even this one. They have the best like crewnecks in Latvia, I swear. But also this is so funny to me. Not the clickbait crewneck. It's a vintage store that turns into a bar at night. So fun. Oh, they also have coffee. Prices are pretty reasonable. I feel like competing with Humana, they kind of have to be. But like the crewnecks are all $9.99. These type of pants have been getting the best of me recently. Like anything like this. Like I love the like extra detail. And they have so many of these pants in Europe. But like look. They have the best crewnecks here. Kind of want the Justin Bieber t-shirt. All of these jackets. Gina. I'm still hunting for the perfect pair of dark wash jeans, but I do really like these light wash ones. $22, but I like the back. I like the pockets. Cute. They do have some really interesting denim. The prices are not bad, like compared to a uh, like vintage store at home, about the same, I would say. Always the best sweaters. I love this blue. Obsessed with this one. Okay, I made it into the girly pop section. Ooh, bags. <gasps> Stop. This is gorge. I really thought it was just like this type of vintage store, not this type of vintage store, and now we're in trouble. The slips. Of course, I go directly for the red and black. Gorgeous little teddy. Oh my god, I'm struggling with these hangers. I'm just gonna show you like this, okay? Okay. I love a good teddy, but like... Oh, something about like an array of lingerie like slips and everything it just like does it for me i love this houndstooth too but it's too big this coat is also stunning these are also kind of fun like the toes these ones are also cute i kind of skipped over the jewelry but like look how stunning Ooh, I like this watch. This one. Furs, 29 euros. Of course, the leopard. That's also a really good price. Ooh, wait, this blue? That is gorgeous. Uh, stunning. In the blue. Yes! 
Okay, so basically, I really didn't want to freak out Melissa, but <laughs> you did it. You did it. I've been freaking out, so yeah. I've been watching this girl since 2019, and I've been trying to find you here, here in Latvia. Oh. Yeah, yeah, because I moved to Latvia like, let's say, like four four years ago, and you started my thrifting like experience and stuff like this. Yeah. And now, yeah, you found me at the right spot. And You're like, I will find in the Humana. <laughs> I found her in the human. Just making a TikTok, so I didn't show you guys as I was thrifting, but I still want to share some of the things that I found. Look how cute. I feel like it just gets better. First of all, this is so cute. I think I see a vision with this. Is it giving 2016? But also, is it giving Y2K? I feel like this is so cute and it's baby pink. This is the tag. Super cute. Also, look at the back of this. I think it's a dress, I'm not sure, but just like I love this chain. Also, the lace on the side, it's so fun. This one right here, so groovy. Love that. Super fun. Everything's 50% off today, too. Then I fell in love with this. Obviously, it's red. Are we shocked? But I like that it's like a little bit more of a maroon. Imagine this with this skirt, though. That's giving OG threads, but I'm obsessed and I'm here for it. Love this skirt. Anything that's bright is always left over because the Lavians don't wear anything bright. So, this old H&M mini skirt. Also, this dress. Look at the little bow. It's so cute. It's really mini. And then I also like this sweater a lot, but do I really need another? Probably not, but I love the the knit and the bubble sleeve. It's so cute. This Madonna shirt is also so early 2000s. I love this one is also super cute. Cute, cute, cute. This is like a sample top of something, but it is also cute. And then we have two of my well, one of my favorites is this corset that I found. This is so rad. I love all the button detailing. So I'm definitely getting this one. And then also this. These are some things that I'm gonna put up on my Depop, I think. I'm gonna try to take some Depop photos tonight of maybe some of this stuff. If I end up getting a few things, which I will, obviously. On my way to pick up some more wholesale boxes. Boxes for my wholesale. And then maybe we'll go hit up a thread. I'm only here for another week and a half, which is crazy, but I have to like get these wholesale boxes and get like some some more orders out before I leave so that's kind of I'll be busy I'll be busy just restocked it seems like they've just restocked summer stuff which is so fun but I do see this blazer which I do love to begin feeling overwhelmed because I haven't had a full stock of summer refresh so I'm like okay let's get into it cute little Madonna piece I am definitely still gravitating toward darker colors because it doesn't feel summer oh a little vintage moment okay love also, the butterflies. <laughs> this is so cute. With the little detail here. I feel like this is something that, like, Sydney Carlson's wearing right now. Like, this is kind of her vibe at the moment. And I, I just can't get behind this like peachy color. I know that it's kind of like the color of the season and this jacket is pretty cool with the like this wraps around here But I just don't love the color like I wouldn't wear it. I'm literally screaming. This is everything also these es Esprit these Esprit cargos are so good This location hands down has the best skirts. This was not even the one I was looking at. Okay. I pulled the wrong one out, but I have a whole entire slew in my cart. Oh my god, summer's coming. Summer's coming. 
summer is coming. The way like my seasonal depression just kind of semi disappeared. Oh my God, stop. It's me in a skirt at the moment. If you've been watching my videos the last few times, this is me right now. So sick. Jeez, how do I even pick? I literally don't even know what to do at this moment. I just see, oh my god. No, I'm obsessed. Oh yes. Stop it. The skirts are doing its thing. Even the ones that I'm like, oh. I'll skip out on are just so good. Like, you're joking. Everything is five euros today, so a little bit more pricey. This is so cute. Uh, oh my god. I don't know what to do at this moment. I think I'm just gonna get a bunch of skirts. They're all just so sick. Gorgeous. Also this one right here. This Max, this vintage Max. So good. There's so many dresses, I'm so excited. Oh, mamacita. This is stunning. I'm obsessed. I feel like I also have a vision with this one. It could be so good on. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, okay, no, but please stop. I'm obsessed. Oh my God. Okay, I'm stressed. I'm gonna miss these vintage knits so much. Like, just look how amazing quality this is. Like, just, I wish I could buy all these, but I just can't get them home. So I have to leave them behind. This is so cute. If it would focus with the little bows. Already know this is coming home with me. I definitely do need some top. We have so many skirts now. I definitely need some cute tops. And then I'm so excited to look through this dress section. Also so cute with the sleeves. Just a good red tank top. Like this, it takes everything in me not to pick this up, but I just need to wait till I get home. This is for wholesale in Depop. Wholesale in Depop. If you see something you want, you better. Tell me as soon as, as ASAP because, okay, so interesting. What is this though? What is the button doing here? I don't know. A good little lacy moment. Immediately, yes, I've seen what I need to see and if you're coming home with me. Okay, what are you? Are you? Very interesting. Very, I love the bottom of this. Okay. Do we love the top of it? I'm not 100% sure, but I love the bottom and this little situation. How can I not get this insane little black midi dress? I feel like this could be so cute and flattering. The dresses are going hard in the paint today, ladies and gentlemen. So cute. Oh my god. The most perfect early 2000s little mini. Okay, we need to chill out. You're lucky I don't love this color. Okay, but this is better. 
This is so cute. What's this? What is going on? The resurgence of these dresses are coming. It's like almost good, but is it just because it's like has a vintage tag? But I, I love how it's like so many, but like I hate the colors, pattern, and everything together. I feel like this could be a vibe. Like it's so fitted. So freaking sick. The dresses, I'm in heaven right now. The stain. I can't trust it. It was almost good. Like it's good. Okay, wait, it is good. Okay, wait, it is good. It is so cute. Okay, stop. It's so cute. What do I do in the, what do you do, what would you do in this situation if you're me? Just get everything? Cause that's what I'm about to do. Cause everything is so cool. And why is everything so short? Like that's a dream. Ass cheeks out for the summer. This is dead ass, just like what I throw on in Florida every time I go out. Like I love like a little mini dress like this. But I can't get too much for myself. Oh, stop it. You stop that right now. You, you naughty naughty. Stop it, it's so cute. So fairy gore. And there's more. Oh, I can already tell. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This one too, so good. But then I just see this right here. What is this? No, it's all right. So I guess they've replaced like all of the coats with dresses because there's no really like furs or coats anymore, which I'm, I'm good with that because I have seen enough. It's jorts season. We're almost there, ladies. I don't know if I can commit to the bit yet. Okay, these might make me want to commit. These are like so sick. They do have some fun like vested tops too. They have the best of these here in Northern, Eastern, Baltic States, whatever you want me to call it because everybody gets mad at me when I call it just Eastern Europe, okay? So cute. Also this one. Cheek me. So cute. This G-Star. Obsessed. A couple cutie pieces of lingerie. But I think I'm gonna pass for now because I will come back. This is cute. This is also super cute. I love the double tie here. But I'm gonna come back probably. And um get on the cheaper day hopefully some of the stuff will still be here the pants are always just kind of like i like to wait until the last day or last couple days to grab some but i did find these which i really like they do have a couple really good pair of white cargo pants which i do personally love to have in my wardrobe but i think i'm gonna wait still for everything to be like two and three euros in a couple days because everything's still five, so. Off the shoulder tumbler grunge core moment. Kind of like it. But I like to wait for the tops and the pants. A little bit longer. But this is something that I would always pick up, like a vintage Morgan top for Depop or Wholesale. Okay, wait, I think I just found the matching shirt to one of the skirts I picked up, so definitely getting this. I love it. I love it. We have an issue, but I'm gonna get everything I think. I think I was getting carried away and I didn't even show you guys half the skirts. Like I found this really good, just like basic white one. 
Here is the matching skirt to that top I found. Oh, look at this pimkey, this vintage pimkey. Black one. I just found a lot of like mini skirts too. Some super, super good mini skirts. This fox one. So good. This one. This one. A lot of good denim. Cute summer stuff. Oh my god, it's almost summer. Some really good finds. Okay, yeah, I need to check out and get going. Just looking through the menswear really quickly while she's checking my stuff out. Look how fun this sweater is. This cardigan. And then I also have a couple other things that I wanted to share. Hold on. This is also super sweet. This is so cute, this umbro. And then there was like these like 90s kind of jersey types. I liked this one a lot, this like cut off. And same with this, is fun. But I don't know if I need, this sweater is so cute, but I don't think I need it. It's just gonna be heavy to put on, but it's so embarrassing I feel like literally Santa Claus <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do I got the goods it's so beautiful here sometimes I'm like it's actually gorgeous when it's not crazy snowy out don't make eye contact with people when you're filming and you can film so much better but just take a look at how gorge the church Okay, so we have the church, the stunning buildings, and then we have gorgeous Humana here as well. So let's go. Okay, I did go through majority of the store already. <sighs> Guys, I'm struggling with the holding and stuff. I want to just, I don't want anything to get on the floor. Okay, obviously this is a struggle. So maybe I should get the stuff and show you guys it at home. And then we're also just going to finish out the store. But I did find some, some really good things. Okay, cute. I haven't gone through everything yet, so we still have some things to see. They have brought out like a bunch of spring stuff. So I did get some good dresses at the last, at this, this one and the other one too. So I'm so excited about that. Okay, I love, 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 love. Also, I love the cut of this. I do love this bag too. The red is really cute. They have two of them. Also, you guys know, at the beginning of the video, when we first came like a few weeks ago, there was like the cobalt blue coat at the other one. So I'm gonna see if it's there, but also I don't think I can get it because I'm running out of space. Okay, it's so cute. It's Donald Duck. Oh my God, I'm literally obsessed. I also found these, this is so fun. And then this one too, the little creature. Kind of a vibe, I'm not gonna lie. J'aime les grands émotions. I kind of like the strap on this, but I just cannot commit to a, ooh, wait, this is fun though. I cannot drop it. Look how cute. They've definitely pulled out some more like bags and summery stuff, which is so exciting. Oh my god, wait. I 
freaking love like the buckle on this. They definitely have a surplus of black bags, but nothing that I'm like, I need necessarily Babe Town. One gorgeous stop. Okay. <laughs> I need this. I'm obsessed. Okay, wait, this one's also fun. It's like a cute little mini cross body bag. They just have some interesting, like things that you just, you know, you see a lot of the same at home. And I just feel like this is a little, like I love the structure of this red. So cute. Look what I just did. I made a little pretty collage for them. I'll find a bunch of board shorts once we get home. I'm trying to just be diligent. But I did see these, which I do like, but not. I do really like these with the buttons up the side. Fun. Also, this hat here. So fun. It's not a hat, it's like one of those face, I forget what they're called right now, but so cute with the like tail. I was also thinking about getting this. I love the pattern on it. good little bodysuit it's actually funny the things that you miss the second time around and you just see you're like oh wait how did I miss that these are cute the set was also one that I was debating on but I think I'm gonna pass but I love the color of it I haven't even looked at the shoes at all these are kind of cute I love the pattern don't love the shape Also, option but looks so small. I don't have small. They also do have some good dresses. As I said, they put dresses out. There was a couple. I already snagged a bunch of the ones that I love, but like this one was also an option, but there is a stain on it. So I passed. They do have some good black ones as well, like this one. I grabbed the ones that I was like, oh my god, I need. This one was also stunning and I just, I'm just not 100% sure just because the back of it is like a little bit open. I don't know, but it's such a cute, pretty lace and it's vintage. The tag, made in England. Maybe I should get it for three euros. What do you guys think? It's like the perfect length too. Some of the skirts that I think I'm gonna leave behind that I didn't end up picking up. I just wanna share some of those with y'all because I'm gonna do a thrift haul probably. Like this is just like such a good skirt, but ugh, I've been getting so many black skirts. Oh wait, how did I miss this? I'm getting this one. This was the other one that's absolutely stunning for the summertime. Okay, but I have one more that I wanna hit up, like the other Humana, so I just wanna, you know, leave room. Don't get too greedy, greedy guts, but they have the best black skirts, I swear. I've thrifted so far. I found some really good things, like the skirt. Cute. A little crop sweater. This green color is just doing it for me and I love the hearts on this one. Obviously sweaters are rare for me taking home right now. But I still want to share with you guys all the incredible knits that they have here all the time. Oh and everything is 3 euros today. This is so fun. Oh my god, 
said so cute. Hello. You know what I need? I need a GoPro to just strap on my body from when I'm thrifting. I found such good summer tops today already. I found so many and I'm so excited about it. Summer's coming. Scrum delicious. Obviously, I'm also thrifting for my Depop. This is the last little chance we're gonna get. Kind of cute. Hot stuff. Imagine this with the leather skirt that I showed you. Yes, mama. These are fun. Three euros. I love the big belt on them. I don't think any big chunkers. Euros. Some more. Oh, I like this one. I like this color. Ooh, wait. That's a good color. I think yes. Second tear hair today. I love this little detail here of these diesel jeans. Holy western sleigh. Look at these. Look at these. These are fun. I like the like wash of these ones. I have some really good things here. Looking over the shoes. These are kind of cute. The purple. But I really I don't. Okay, cute also. It's super cute, to be honest. I love the bows. The lace up detail. Size 38. Might be big. I mean, might be small, but might fit. I'm like a 38.5, maybe a 39, but they're adjustable. These are actually cute. A little pet of clogs. Fuck me up with some sex and jeans. Oh my god, yes. Pop my eye. I do love this. So cute. For like an Easter dinner. The skirts are just so good. Like. I'm supposed to leave you all behind to go back to Value Village. Where these are less expensive and just so 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 cute. Are we gonna be in like our retro girly summer? Okay, a couple more cuties that I found. There's a lot happening, so I think I'm gonna check out and go home and kind of figure everything out. My mom's gonna love this one. So many cute dresses. I don't think I showed you guys this skirt either. I love the big buckle on the dress. Vintage. You don't do vintage stuff. Yeah. 
cute. I got two pairs of these diesel jeans with the like wrap around belted moment. I'm hoping one of these pairs of jeans fit me because I also really liked these ones that I picked up. I love like the chunky buttons on it and they're short. They might even be too short for me, so. But they're so cute. These are like really like not my style to be honest, but they're fun. I had to pick these up. I just like don't gravitate toward mom jeans. I think you guys probably know that, but these were just so cute. And I thought one of my clients would love them for her wholesale. <laughs> Jax is here as well. He's obviously chewing on all of the tags. He wants to say hi. couple other things they also are always putting out like new stuff during the sale too which i didn't notice like i didn't know until they started yelling and there was new racks cute so many skirts i've just decided that i'm going to just ship myself home a whole entire bail or like box of skirts and pants just because they're so unique here and they're so good and i obviously know you guys want some stuff for my depop go on i've been taking photos of things and i'm so excited to like do the europe drop look at this coat you're joking you're joking it is the perfect cherry red i'm obsessed hope that this fits me too mm. this is the brand it is it is it is leather too three euros most funnest fun fun bag ever it literally says Cape Town bag zone one gorgeous owner which is I duh look at this and this together mm. this was the dress that I wasn't too keen on 100% maybe I should try it on for you guys but it's so cute but I just wasn't I just didn't know I just didn't know but there are some really good dresses like short dresses oh my god this one too this yellow how cute is this for the summertime Stop. Tennis moment. Like imagine just hitting around some tennis balls. Serena Williams, you know? This one also looks so good, like, cause it's short and we love it. Like mod cut, very like 60s gingham pattern. Love, love, love. Another leather coat. I actually just sold one of these on my Depop, the exact same one that I got in Europe last year. I had held it in my collection for so long cause I loved it. It was in like this red color. I just found it in black. How much, look how cute this is. This like over swim set in Florida. I know it's kind of like we're getting past winter time, but I could not leave these corduroy pants behind. Look how cute. Even this with this. Mm, now we're talking with the leather coat. Okay, I did stop at like a random Humana at the end. I actually went to four different Humanas. Look how cute this little polka dot. I feel like I, I have a like a love hate relationship with polka dots because I feel like they can be super cheesy But I saw this like early 2000s asymmetrical hem cut Tank top and I thought this would be so cute in Florida for the summertime And I could really just like grunge it up a little bit and make it a little bit less cheesy a little pimky orange Top I don't love orange on me. I think that like with the blonde hair it kind of doesn't go well, but for the Depop or for the wholesale, of course, I thought it was super cute. I also found this little Dolce & Gabbana little moment. I thought this was so cute and it was only three girls. So it was like, why not? We love a good little baby tee. Oh my God. Oh my God. I didn't even show you guys this. I found this Von Dutch pink and black mini skirt. Imagine with my little Von Dutch hat or even, oh my God, on over top of these over top of these pants with my little Von Dutch hat that my boyfriend got me for Christmas would be so cute. I also found this little tank. Right, we're gonna do some more rapid fire. <laughs> from my heart to you or from my heart to myself. It's like this turquoise and then the bows all the way up the middle. It's a little button up. I think it does, it does button up and down, but it is so, so cute. I found some really good tops. I love this little bandeau and like the little things hanging off. Also, look at this. Third, which is the one that I passed at first and then I ended up finding. Okay, wait, the set. I wanted to share the set with you guys. So at the beginning of the video, you guys would have seen the set and I was like, oh my God, what a good price for it. 
because it was like 10 euros for the set. Three euros, three euros went back. It's still there. I'm so pumped about it. And you guys know how I feel about animal prints. So to be worn in such a cute way, like it's giving Sailor Moon, it's giving Sailor. Sailor Moon, Sailor. But I feel like it could be so cute. I'm just gonna send myself home like 100 skirts at this point. A little glacier top. Like, you know, the Ghani tops with all like the lace up that we've been seeing so much of. 100% sure that I should get this because it is suede, but I just like could not pass this up. Even if I'm like, I'll hold this in my wardrobe until next year. But it is the suede is asymmetrical skirt. The Baltics just have the best vintage wear. Like they are just hiding it from the rest of the world. But how good this is for the summer. sets as well like this little seafoam green one is so cute for like Easter I even know that I ended up getting this so cute boots hoping that these fit me cuz I just love a chunky belt right now you know where to find them oh my god this set is stunning okay look at this vintage white skirt with this top Nar. Nar, you're not serious. It's really so cute. The little eyelets, the flowers for the summertime. I'm so happy that I got to see some other summer stuff be put out before I left. Like I was here for a whole extra month last year, but in Lithuania, I didn't feel like they put out the summer stuff even then. Oh my God, the jorts. I found the most perfect pair of jorts. These are gonna be my summer go-to. Hey, look. Jorts, nice. They're so good. These ones too. It's got like a good old black maxi dress. Then this, like, look at those little flowers. It's the detail that matters. That's what makes a good piece. These are the other diesel jeans I was talking about. So the other ones were a little bit more of a light wash. These are kind of coming out the same wash, but they're a little bit more of a mid wash. These Madonna pants. Also superb. I think I'll probably end up keeping this for when I'm in Florida. Look how cute this is. I don't know if it's gonna be too big. It's a 40, but maybe low rise. I do have a large hips. Clients as well. This little sunflower. She loves like flowers and like also so cute. I think that these are, they don't have a tag in them, but I'm pretty positive these are vintage pinky. This little tank top is also so good. This I got for myself for when I go to Florida in a month because I just love what you guys know. Another couple good tank tops. I could have gotten like every single one of those skirts. This is all wet and I'm pretty sure that is from the snow because I was carrying this but that's okay. I don't know if you'd wear it like front corset way. I actually saw originally when I went like a few weeks ago when everything was full price and I was like, I want that skirt. But I was just like obviously budgeting because I'm not trying to spend trillions of dollars. So I was like, I hope that's there when I go back. And it was. And then I was hoping for some good dresses like this to fit into my wholesale. I did find a bunch of good dresses at the other place when they restocked last week. But look how cute. I did find not one but two of these micro minis. I will definitely be selling these are black pistol micro minis. If I was to wear this, I would have to probably wear it over top of some pants because I know my cheeks are gonna be out because in different sizes. No, they're both a medium, but them I don't have to take one photo and I can make two separate sales, and that is a win, ladies and gentlemen. That is a win if I tell you. Saving time any which way when it comes to Depop is a win. Okay, this is the first thing that I'm seeing that is damaged. Don't it, but it's so, so cute. Get this overall skirt moment, the vibe. I feel like it's so cute, baby. No eat, no eat. Thank you. It's really so cute, but it's just missing one of those clasps. So I actually need to get another one for another pair of overalls that I have in my own wardrobe. I need the like little things that go on to like an overall. I feel like I could probably just get them at like Fabric Land or at like the store, but I'm probably just gonna take this home and then wreck some more. Can't go army pants. Oh my God, imagine this whole outfit together. I saw this and I was like, I want this for myself. Cause how cute is this like a little jacket? It's like silk, but how cute. There was one, oh yeah, this 
my god, I could literally die. Of tops that are happening, which is good because I've been on the hunt. Camo, of course, you guys know I love it. So much is hot stuff. Look how It's giving me Miss 60s, but it's Sexy Jeans is the brand, but it's like so fun. I love anything netted. Sometimes I just, it just, it just makes me so happy. Oh, I'm not sure if this was a, is a skirt or a top because it was in the top section. I'm kind of assuming it's a skirt, but like also as a top, it would be so cute. They were just bringing out and I was like, that's a good little basic to have. So I grabbed this. Maybe find of the day were the jorts. Honestly, we've been finding some good shorts, jorts. And the brand of this is Sex and Jeans. Like the way they have the best brand names. These are also so good. Look at the little detail on these pants. So cute. The last thing is this little tanky top. Also so cute. It's a pile of vintage clothing. I'm so happy about it. Now I have to, now I have to sort. I have to figure out what I want to put on my Depop. And then I also have to figure out who's getting what. I also have to message some girls on like what they would want in this pile in regards to wholesale. So your girl has lots of work to do. So let's get into that. Tired, Ladies like and gentlemen. I'm tired of your voice. I'm getting tired of the way you leave me hanging with no choice. If you would ask me long ago, back when you seduced me, yeah, I felt like a domino. But I knew you were liability. He said, baby. 